The United States Senate is about to shape the future of the Supreme Court and potentially a tie-breaking vote for any contested election with this vote on whether to confirm Trump nominee Judge Barrett to join the high court. Confirmation hearings, of course, are a rare time when judges are questioned since they're usually the ones doing the questioning. But occasionally, even sitting justices do take questions in other forums. So while this rarely happens on live TV, we have something new and special on this front for you right now. My new interview with current Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer, first appointed by President Clinton in 1994. So we're going to show you a couple highlights airing right now for the first time. I asked Breyer about his warning the court should not overturn established precedent, what lawyers call stare decisis, whether he was intentionally citing abortion cases when warning about that, and whether he's concerned the court may overturn Roe v. Wade. When we read a case like this, and we see you cite Planned Parenthood v. Casey, and people may take from that or want to take from that that it's a warning about substance, about uh, issues on abortion, is that the right way to read that precedent, or... Could you have cited any number of cases regarding stare decisis? What's in the judge's mind doesn't really matter. Mm. What matters are the words on the paper. And it's important for the judge not to forget that. Because it's those words on the paper that will be the guide to the future. Justice Breyer cautioning against going beyond those words in the ruling. Now, as Trump calls for loyalty, Breyer also noted how judges can end up teaching presidents a thing or two about independence. It may be a political process that leads to the nomination of a judge. And a president may think, ha, I've got someone who will always agree with me. That's what Teddy Roosevelt thought when he appointed Oliver Wendell Holmes, he got him nominated on the court in three months, Holmes had decided something Roosevelt couldn't stand. Roosevelt said, I could carve a judge with more backbone out of a banana. He was furious, but Holmes was doing his job. Do you think every president comes to learn that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, learn it. Now, I had to ask Breyer about how the court can be the last word in contested elections. And while he, of course, followed the rules avoiding any comment on a future case, he did reflect on the peaceful transfer of power in 2000. When I talk to students about this, some say, well, I say, look, there were no, I heard uh, uh, Senator Reid say in respect to Bush v. Gore, the most remarkable thing is there were no riots. There are at least 30% of you in this audience, because it's a young audience, who think too bad there weren't a few riots. That decision was wrong. I understand what you're thinking. But before you come to that as a final conclusion, I would like you to turn on your television set and see what happens in countries who resolve their differences that way. Something to think about. Now, there's this intense passion about how the Republican Senate hijacked Obama's court nominee. And that's one reason why Trump's now on pace to put a record-breaking three justices on this court in a single term. Well, Justice Breyer did not address the politics there, of course, but he did make a wider point that the politicians don't just reflect all citizens, but rather the ones who participate. And he recommends everyone who cares go get involved. The senators are going to reflect what you want. So you better stop it. And the way you stop it is when you disagree with somebody, you talk to them about it. You talk to them about it. You try to convince them. You participate. You vote. And uh, you do it yourself. Engage, participate, vote. Pretty good advice with early voting now underway and a fitting final word. I want to send our special thanks both to Justice Breyer and the Edward M. Kennedy Institute for the United States Senate. You can watch the entire longer discussion. Those were expert excerpts by going online to emkinstitute.org. Now, we have one more thing as promised, the update on Obama getting out on the road for Joe Biden when we come back. <laughs> 